what's up everybody welcome back to exotic astrology and today we will discuss on something very important that will help us in every sphere of our life how to impress somebody how to make an impression on someone well the fact of the matter is you do not need to impress anybody in this world except one person who is that the only person you need to impress is the almighty supreme lord god himself but when i say that how to impress somebody i mean in our workplace if we are not having a good relationship with our boss then how to behave in a way that he is happy with us if we are in a relationship that is not going very good then how to behave in a way that the opposite partner appreciates us more they understand us more we understand them more if we are not having a great relationship with our children then how to behave in ways that will improve our relationship by that you say i have impressed the person all right before beginning as i say god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will be there and if you're new to the channel then subscribe to it and if you like this video click the thumbs up and share it with others all right let us begin how do you know how to please someone or to make someone happy how to how to find out what is the person impressed with how do you know that well you have to see the fifth house in the person's chart when i say fifth house i mean the original fifth house as per the lagna of the person it's not the sign of leo do not consider it the number 5 sign it is the fifth house if you are a taurus ascendant then the sign of virgo will fall in your fifth house and if you are capricorn ascendant then the sign of taurus will fall in your fifth house if you are a libra ascendant for you the fifth house is the sign of aquarius all right and if you are an aries ascendant leo is itself your fifth house why fifth house because fifth house is the house of our mental projection it is the second from the fourth house fourth house is the house of your heart your inner chambers now what is fifth house fifth house is second from the fourth house what is the second house second house from any house represents gain of that house represents expression of that house so how you perceive this world what do you think of this world your opinions everything comes under the fifth house that is why also fifth house is the house of education because when you get educated you your intelligence is shaped in a particular way it's molded you understand what is right what is wrong what is to be done what is not to be done and by that you also understand how should i behave in a particular situation your view of this world gets shaped by the fifth house and that is why it is also the house of planning because it is second from the fourth house and fourth house represents your conscious mind but how do you behave with the mind that is the fifth house because fifth house represents the house of children it represents the house of love romance etc now why does it represent the house of love and romance etc because that is something which you do very naturally for example love towards your children especially that is very natural nobody needs to tell you there's a saying in hindi jo baat bin bole samajh mein aaye that is the fifth house that means if i would translate it loosely for the western audience what it means is that which you understand without saying that which is understood without any gesture any physical gesture also that is the fifth house that means whenever you want to know how to connect to a person you have to see which planet is there in the fifth house fifth house has the capacity to drive a person mad because it is what controls the person it is what the person is made up of because fifth house is a uh, the perhaps the best house a planet can be in the horoscope and that is why whichever planet is there in the fifth house that planet has the power to drive you mad to drive you to drive you crazy to drive you in ways that you never thought somebody would drive you mad that is why they say that love drives people mad it is basically the projection of a person what what the person is 
insight that is what is the fifth house that is why it is one of the trines because it deals with your inner self apart from the lagna and the ninth house and fifth house is also the house of mantra because when you keep speaking a particular word what is mantra mana trayate you chant particular words and sentences again and again and again and again so what happens when you keep doing it you reinstantiate those words suppose you are chanting the name of lord ram then the moment you are chanting then the word of the photo the picture of lord ram is coming into your mind again and again if you are chanting lord shiva's name suppose you are chanting om namah shiva every day then lord shiva's photo the moment you say om namah shiva it pops up in your head that means you are projecting lord shiva yes that is why mantra is the fifth house it is not the ninth house now how to know how to connect to the person how to impress the person what you do is provided you have the horoscope of the person that is a prerequisite for this suppose i am taking a scenario your boss in your company knows that you are an astrologer or you know astrology and he or she gives you the horoscope to you to just see how is the horoscope etc so then what you should do directly go to his fifth house check which planets are there in the fifth house they will be able to drive the person mad now what happens is i will tell you you have to see the planet which is placed there i will come to the case if there are no planets later first let me discuss about the planets whichever planet is there check which is the house it gets directional strength in should i repeat whichever planet is there check where it gets digbala directional strength for example directional strength for jupiter mercury comes in the first house yes what is directional strength directional strength basically means certain houses within the horoscope especially only in the kendra the first fourth seventh and tenth where the planet is very powerful location wise the blessings of the dikpalas the lord of the directions come if the planet is situated there a planet in dikbala is very strong because it has the power to suck you to pull you towards that side that aspect becomes very strong in a person's life so the planets like jupiter mercury gets directional strength in the first house because first house is the house of intelligence and jupiter mercury represents intelligence wisdom learning it is the house of the head the first house and the planets moon and venus which are watery planets they get directional strength in the fourth house fourth house is the house of luxury pleasure happiness contentment home peace enjoyment and the vayu planet saturn gets digbali in the seventh house and the agni tattva planets the fiery planets the sun and mars gets directional strength in the tenth house only in kendra in the first fourth seventh tenth which are the angular houses can a planet obtain directional strength in all right so now what does it mean if jupiter mercury is in the first house or oh, sorry if it is in the fifth house just think as if they are in the first house what if moon venus is in the fifth house just think as if they are in the fourth house what if saturn is in the fifth house just think as if it is in the seventh house what if sun mars is placed in the fifth house of the person simply think that he or she has sun mars in the 10th house now how to use this whenever you see somebody with jupiter or mercury or jupiter and mercury in the 5th house what do you understand is the concept of the first house is very 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 important for them that is what drives them mad because these two planets get directional strength in the first house in the lagna so that means the concept of the lagna has the power to drive this person mad because they are in the fifth house now how how do you use this for example if somebody has jupiter mercury or either of them then 
they are always concerned about the first house which is what looks appearance and first house is also image reputation what people think of you so for them having a good reputation in this world is everything <laughs> it is all in all if they do not have that they will die if you tell them that people don't respect you they will die they cannot live they may live physically but internally they will not be able to survive <laughs> they'll collapse internally so for example if somebody has jupiter say in the in the first house then if your boss has then whenever you are interacting maybe you can make such statements that sir according to me reputation is most important your image is all in all and then that that person will be like wow this person is like me <laughs> You should always do good. People should think good about you. You, do, you don't have to say it directly. You don't have to say it in his face. But you have to convey that through your actions, through your words and through your subtle gestures. The person will understand that. The message has to be conveyed to the person that one's image, name, fame, reputation is most important in this world. And then what happens? Then you are activating his Jupiter or Mercury in his fifth house and also they are the significators of education and decision so these people value learning very much and because it gets in directional strength in the first house it shows they value learning through experience by themselves and also by the word of the gurus Mercury shows yourself learning and Jupiter shows learning through the wisdom of the gurus that means they will also be appreciating the presence of gurus and guides counselors so you can also make such statements for example so what i feel is always it is best to take guidance from somebody senior to you for example people like you <laughs> then what will happen to them they will feel that yes this person gels well with my nature because a person with jupiter mercury in the fifth is likely to also seek guidance from other people especially if jupiter is there from other people i mean from senior people who are more experienced than him and also if mercury is there they may be more focused towards learning by their own experience so then you should say if mercury is there alone without jupiter you may say to him that we should learn ourselves we should learn everything we should try to grasp things ourselves knowledge is everything so these are the statements which you can make and as i said you don't have to make these statements you have to convey those words by your subtle behavior and by your uh, by your desire to show that you are ready to learn anything especially if your boss has jupiter mercury in the fifth house you should always show them that you are you are always welcome you always welcome learning new things you never shy away from learning things you never shy away from learning things which you don't know you you never shy away from doing things for the first time that is it from my side for jupiter and mercury now what if moon venus is in the fourth house oh sorry it is in the fifth house then it is like having moon venus in the fourth house so the aspect of moon and venus is very strong in the person which means aspects like chilling out in the home relaxing peace food contentment joy satisfaction mother women ladies these things will drive the person mad that is why they say venus in the fifth house is a clear indication of somebody who can have a love marriage why do they say that because as i said as i said fifth house has the power to control you so women have the power to drive the person mad all right or love romance etc so the person will always be seeking for all these things in his life which means he will be dating women and getting into relationships and then finally he may marry. Now, for example, Venus also represents creativity, showbiz, media, looks, beauty, perfumes, clothes, <laughs> all these things. And what does moon represent? Moon represents liquids, water, the sea, the ocean all these things moon represents emotions the mind your mother motherly personalities moon venus represents luxuries basically so suppose somebody has moon venus in the fifth house then how do you impress the person 
simply talk on these lines of the fourth house. For example, if somebody has Venus in the fifth house, you should always keep telling them, ultimately you should look good, man, yes. If you don't look good, what's the use? Then the person will be like, yes, 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 you should look good. And suppose moon is in the fifth house, these people like to sleep too much. <laughs> Because having moon in the fifth house is having like moon in Digbala, which is in the fourth house. Then you should always make such statements to them that, oh, for me sleep is like the most important thing. What is the use of this world? What is the use of life if you do not sleep, right? So sleeping, staying with the family, staying in the inner chambers, which is the fourth house, is very important for them. That means... You can drive the person mad if you speak all this to him. And if you also go to some restaurant, then focus on drinks more because Moon, Venus are watery planets. They represent drinks. Order the best of the drinks. Order the best of the... Uh, if, if he takes wine, order, order the best of the wine or whiskey or whatever. I, I have no knowledge on those lines. <laughs> And these people will be very much fond of milk also, especially if moon is there in the fifth house. So milk items like milkshake, coffee, <laughs> paneer, butter, ghee, milk, cream, yogurt, all these things. These things can drive the person mad if especially moon is in the fifth house. And Venus, showbiz, love, romance. You should always keep talking about love, romance, all these things with the people. And also... Venus represents images. So when you are trying to connect with a person who has Venus in the fifth house, it is best if you can show the person what you are trying to say with the help of certain images. For example, if you are going to give have a discussion with your boss, then it is always better, provided he or she has Venus in the fifth, then it is always better that you give them some presentation rather than just speaking and discussing or you can um, make them notes and show them or you can use some cartoons or pictures and show them that yes this is what my approach is then the person will like you very much because venus represents images and anything which is visual anything which can be seen through the eyes that is represented by venus because the person can connect to it very easily rather than having a discussion for him with for 15 minutes you can directly go and show him what you are planning all right now which are the planets remaining sun and mars sun mars gets directional strength in the 10th house so if somebody has sun and mars in the fifth house you always have to talk to them about the status in work about the work about career about going high about going to the 10th house, which is the midheaven, where sun is during the noon. That means you always have to talk about the person that whatever happens in life, work is the most important thing. You should work, 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 work till you die. <laughs> yes, these people are like that. I know people who have sun, Mars or sun, Mars conjunct in the 5th house. They are very much focused towards the career towards work, towards proving to the world that I can do something. Tenth house is the house of impact. How much impact do you make in this world? How much power do you have to change society? That is the tenth house. It is the strongest house of the Kendra. So these people, if they see you, suppose your boss has Sun or Mars in the fifth house. And if you try to say them that, okay i am going to home i am going to vacation they will not like this well no boss will like that but these people will especially not appreciate that not that they will not appreciate but if you are behaving irresponsibly towards your career and you are not very focused 10th house is the house of focus it is the house of responsibility it is the house of decisions if they say that if they tell you that decide what you want and then you are like mm, i can't decide maybe this is good that is also good maybe that is bad this is worst so then they will be like, my God, why has this person come to my company? So in that case, you will have to take decisions properly and you will have to give them this faith that whatever happens, I will come to work. I'll be serious. I'll be responsible. I'll be duty bound. All right. 
and then I will do whatever you say because 10,000 the house of authority which means you are supposed to follow the authority and especially if Mars is there in the fifth house you can also speak about fights warfare I have seen people with Mars associated with the fifth house they like to talk about battles the world war the war of Napoleon of Waterloo uh, maybe if you if he's an Indian you can talk about the battle of Panipat <laughs> Or oh, Mahabharata, that's the best thing to talk because Mars represents all these fighting, quarrels, trials, tribulations, enemies, conquering, victory, victory streaks. All these things are represented by Mars. And which is the last planet remaining? It is none other than Saturn. So Saturn gets direction and strength in the seventh house. Saturn also gets exalted in the sign of Libra. So what is the 7th house? 7th house is the house of other people. 7th house is the house of justice. 7th house is the house of stability, equality, equanimity. It is the house of equilibrium because Libra energy tries to balance things. Therefore, if somebody has Saturn in the 5th house, then it means that the traits of the 7th house will be very prominent in the person. You should always be talking to him in these terms that yeah, ultimately you should have balance in life. Ultimately you should know how to balance things, how to give things their due right. You should always be accommodating. You should always try to uh, balance things with people. You should try to balance going to the gym. You should try to balance going to the library, going to your work, meeting your girlfriend maybe. <laughs> Balancing things in life. And... Doing things in team, doing things with people, doing things together rather than being individualistic and doing things alone and not by considering others. So this is what happens when uh, these planets are associated or linked with the fifth house. And what if Rahu is placed in the fifth house? Rahu represents things which are unusual. So these people will like unusual things. They will... As in Hindi, you say, Thore Hatke. <laughs> These people will like things which are done a bit differently. So if, you, if somebody has Rahu in the fifth, if some boss has, then you can always talk to him about new ideas, about innovations, about things which nobody has done. Then these people will like you very much. They will appreciate you. And what if Ketu is there in the fifth house? Ketu is the headless planet, which means Ketu doesn't think with the head. It thinks with intuition. Probably it's the most difficult placement to understand because you don't know what is going on in their head. <laughs> so Rahu Ketu in the fifth house can be a challenging person if that person is a, is your boss. Especially with Ketu because you don't know what's going on in their head. <laughs> so probably there's no dictum for impressing somebody with Ketu in the fifth house. And then by that... Maybe you can speak about things like intuition, about what you feel inside because Ketu doesn't have the head. So that means Ketu doesn't use the intelligence. And fifth house Ketu also can mean that the person does certain things which nobody understands because Ketu doesn't have the head. So when you do something, the person, the other people around you, they are thinking with the head. They don't understand. Oh my God, why in this world this person is doing like that? But only that person understands. So sometimes if your boss is wanting to take some decision which is going to drive everybody mad, then maybe you can support him. Yes, 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 sir. I know this is a bit different from what you have done or what others have done, but I'm confident that you will do it. And these people actually do it. <laughs> so that is it from my side regarding the planets posited in the fifth house. And suppose there are more than one planets, then the effects can be dual. For example, if Sun Venus is there, the person will also be focused towards their home and career, both simultaneously. And if Saturn and maybe Mercury is there, then the seventh house matters and the matters of the first house, the Lagna. And now what if there are no planets posited in the fifth house? Then what you do simply check which planets are aspecting the fifth house. They will try to mold the colors of the fifth house. And if no planets are aspecting also, simply see where the Lord is placed. Or who is the Lord at all? 
just simply check that for example if somebody is a libra ascendant then his fifth house has the sign of aquarius that means saturn is the planet which controls the fifth house that means things related to the seventh house will become very important if somebody is a scorpio ascendant then jupiter controls the fifth house because the sign of pisces falls in the fifth house and what if there are no planets or no aspects in the fifth house then take jupiter as the lord that means these people are always concerned about their image about their reputation of what other people think about them how how, how good they are looking how good they are presenting themselves to other people and if somebody is a capricorn ascendant without any planet or any aspect in the fifth house it is venus because taurus is in the fifth house ruled by venus so taurus which is venus has the power to drive them mad all right that is it from my side if you have any questions where is your comments then let me know in the comment section and if you have any idea on how to impress somebody then please let me know and if you're new to the channel then like this video and subscribe to the channel and share it with others okay until next time wish you all the best with impressing your boss bye bye see you